Today I'll walk through a few different scenarios and how to use Power over Ethernet or PoE technology to more easily install your IP cameras. By the end of this episode, you'll see how easy it is, how much money you can save, and how much time you can save by using TrendNet PoE solutions. Okay, so what is PoA, you may ask? PoE transmits power and data over an existing Ethernet cable. In regular networking, only data is transmitted over Ethernet cables. So who cares, you might say? Well, think about it. Internet cameras are usually mounted in areas that are far away from existing electrical outlets. In these cases, you can either pay an electrician to extend the electrical outlet to your camera's location, or you can use PoE technology to send power and data to the IP camera. So let's jump right in and look at a few different PoE scenarios. Now PoE comes in two varieties. Standard PoE, which provides roughly 15 watts per channel to power most typical PoE devices, and PoE Plus, which provides roughly 30 watts per channel for devices that have higher power consumption needs. You've done your homework, and you really like TrendNet's new PoE Megapixel IP camera. The quickest way to network the camera is to buy a PoE switch. You can simply plug the switch in, and then connect one of the switch's ports to your router or network backbone. Then you extend a Cat5 or Cat6 cable with a PoE port to your camera, and voila, the camera is functioning and supplied with power and data. Now let's say you don't want to buy a PoE switch and you have a free port available on your existing router. No problem. You can use a PoE injector in this scenario. We simply install TrendNet's Power Over Ethernet injector near the router by plugging it in, connecting it to one of the non-PoE ports, and then running an Ethernet cable to your IP camera. Now you can see how easy and fast it is to install TrendNet's PoE solutions. I'm Steven, and I'm out.